Come on, just turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, Happy Heroes Day. Happy Heroes Day. Amen. We are happy that you are here. And thank you for joining us for our service. Yesterday we had a long day here. We had uh, the celebration of our dear sister Christine. And uh, thank you so much for those of you who managed to come. We had many dignitaries here. PLO Lumumba was here. Dr. Ezekiel Mutua was here. Several bishops were here. All our pastors were here. Our elders were here. You are here. We celebrate you all. We also had an occasion yesterday. Uh, the daughter of Bishop Mburu, uh, uh, the lawyer, the lawyer, the lawyer. I don't know what young men look for in this church. I don't know who bewitched them. A whole lawyer, lawyer with brains. Can I get an amen? Amen. Right, right, right. So we are glad. Uh, that all those occasions we had people who represented us in Bishop Mburu's place. And I want to thank you all. Somebody say Amen. Amen. I mean, we may have our seats. Thank you. As we are seated, let's just join in this song. Amen. Let's join in this song together, Rock of Ages. Rock of ages, clap for me. Come on. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water sound the blood. From the wood, they shine with God. Be your sweet and I of you. Send me troll, it's not that day, but so kind of can fulfill my lost in mind. Could my zeal not be spiked? No, could my tears forever flow? Oh, for sin could not atone. You must say that to my Lord. Nothing is my hands are free. Come on now. Simply to your cross I plead. Nathan come to you for dread. And let's look to you for praise. For thy truth, the fountain dry. Wash me, Savior, or I die. While I draw this pleasing breath. When my eye is closed in death. When I saw to what I know, see your blood, your judgment throat, rock of ages, clear for me. Come on, let me hide myself in thee. Walk away, give me my what 
binadambi mana Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. On Sunday, Jumapili, I spoke to you on the subject I entitled Turning Stress into Strength. And we spoke what is stress. We mentioned how do we get stress. And we went ahead and spoke about uh, the book of Ruth chapter number one. And we spoke about a family of four. That is Elmelech, Elmeleki, meaning the Lord is king. The wife Naomi, uh, bibi yake Naomi meaning pleasant namanisha kilicho kizuri, or beautiful. Ama kilicho, uh, kirembo. There are two sons. Malhon and Kilion. Malhon na Kilion. Malhon meaning sickly. Malhon ni namanisha mwenye ukonjwa, anakuwa mgonjwa kila mara. And uh, Kilion meaning pinching. Na Kilion ni namanisha kuweza kuchunwa. They lived in a place called Bethlehem. Wakaishi pali pana ito Bethlehemu. Bethlehem meaning house of bread. Bethlehem ni namanisha nyumba ya mkate. And uh, there was drought. Na kukakua na kiangazi. So, Elmelech, Elmeleki, because of drought, kwa sababu ya kiangazi, lack of food, ukosa chakula, he decided we will not stay in Bethlehem. Akamua kwamba hawata kapa le Bethlehemu. And they went down, down, down to Moab. Na wakaenda kule chini, chini kule Moab. A distance of about a hundred miles. Muendo wa maili kama miya moja. It took them about three to four days. Ilu wachukua kama siku tatu nevi. And in Moab. Na kule Moabu. They enjoyed for a while. Wakafurahia kwa muda. Ten years. Miaka kumi. There was food. Kulikuwa na shakula. Everything was okay. Kila kitu kilikuwa sawa. Right in Moab. Praise the name of the Lord. Amina. But the scriptures tells us after a while Elmelech died. Elmeleki akafa. His two sons, of course, while in, 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 in Moab, they got married. They married Orpa and Kilion. Orpa na Ruth. Orpa and, uh, and Ruth. Orpa na Ruth. Of course, Orpa was married to uh, Malhon. And, uh, and Ruth was married to Kilion. Kilion. So the scripture tells us after a short while, Elmelech died. Elmeleki akafa. Malhon died. Malon akafa. Kilion died. Kilion akafa. And so Naomi, Kwa hivo Naomi, she's left a widow. With her two daughters in law. And she rises up. And she convinces her two daughters. To go back. Because she's miserable. Because of what she has gone through. She tells him, please don't come up with me. I need to go back where I came from. What has, what, what has befallen me in this country? It is too much. I can't handle. Stress. Things are not working. Mambo hayendi sambamba. And so today, Kwa hivu leo, I want to speak to you on the what I have entitled God's favor. Ningependa kwa neneni kwa kila mbacho nimeita kwa mba favor ya mungu. And I pray today, na naomba leo, may the favor of God be over your life. Wacha favor ya mungu iwe juu ya maisha yako. Anything negative, chochote kila mbacho si sawa, we disconnect it in your life. Tunaitoa kwenye maisha yenu. And may you rise up, na ukaweze kuinuka, to the favor of God. Kwa kipali cha mungu, may your bitter waters, wacha maji yako machungu, turn into sweetness, ya badilike yao 
matamu, to the glory and honor of your name. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Come on, shout a better amen. Amen. Favor. Lift your hand and declare favor. Favor. Turn to your neighbor, tell them favor. Favor. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Favor me this way. I am Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Come on now. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Favor me this way. I am saying thank you, Daddy. I didn't know. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Oh. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Favor me this way. I am saying thank you, Daddy. Thank you. you may have your seat. Ascension. Turn with me in the book of Ruth, chapter one, from verse number eighteen. Now. Ruth, mlango. Kwanza kuminanani. Ruth chapter 1. Ruth mlangu wa kwanza. From verse number 18. We Sari. walk together now. Sari wa kuminanani tutembe pamoja. The scriptures read. Mandiko ya nasema. When Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her. Naomi alipo gundua kwamba Ruth amejika kamua kwamba lazima ende pamoja nae. She stopped urging her. Aka acha kumisha wishi. Now Naomi we read last Sunday. Naomi tulisoma uh, jumapili liopita. Telling her two daughters in law. Anambia binti zake wawili wakwe. Please. Jafadhali. Go back to your people. Rudini kwa watu wenu. Of course Orpa. Kwa hivyo Orpa. Decided she's going back. Aka amua atarudi kwa watu wakwe. Because Naomi convinced her. Kwa sababu alisha wishika na Naomi. She is old. Yeah. She's not going to get pregnant. Give birth to a son. So that she can, uh, they can be married. So Orpa left. But Ruth. Lakini Ruth, she decided, akamua, I am going to go with you. I am not going to go back. I know I am a Moabite. I know what brought me here, it's no longer there. But I am not going back. I came to tell you today, don't go back. Things may be tough. Mamba ineza kwa magumu. Things may be difficult. Mamba ineza kwa magumu. But the moment you make a decision. Kini wakati unamua. And you say this is the way. Na useme hindi onjia. Don't go back. Usirudi nyuma. Somebody say amen. Amen. Ruth makes up her mind. Ruth akafanya uamuzi. I am not going back. Akasema sirudi nilikotoka. Verse 19. Kuminatisa. Verse 19. Look at what, what Naomi tells her. So the two women went on until they came to Bethlehem. Naomi is a widow. Ruth is a widow. Naomi is from Israel. Israel. Uh, Ruth, she's a Moabite. And she has decided, I am not going back. And she decides they are going to go together with her mother-in-law. So they walk together. Two widows. They are going back to Bethlehem. House of bread. I'm praying today. May the Lord bring you back to Bethlehem. House of bread. House of plenty. The Bible says when they arrived in Bethlehem. The whole town was stirred because of them. And the women exclaimed, Can this be Naomi? She left us because there was drought. She left us with her husband. She left us with her two sons. And she went to Moab. Now she's coming back. And no husband, no children, but she has a daughter. And the people wondered, can 
please be Naomi. Say, huyu anaweza kuwa ni Naomi. I came to tell you. Nikuja kukuambia. Things may have fallen apart. Mambo yanaweza kuwa yameanguka. Things may have worked against you. Mambo yanaweza kuwa yameenda kinyume nayo. You may have lost everything. Yanaweza kuwa yamepoteza kila kitu. You may call you names. Watu wanaweza kuita majina. But there is a God who restores. Lakini kuna Mungu anayerejesha. There is a God who turns around your story. Kuna Mungu anayebadilisha hadithi yako. I'm praying. Ninaomba. May your story change. Hadithi yako ibadilike. May your story change. Hadithi yako ibadilike. Even the poor may call you poor. Hata maskini wanaweza kuita maskini. Today, lakini leo hii, the favor of God is coming over your life. Baliza Bwana kinakuja juu ya maisha yako. And you rise up. Unainuka. I say you rise up. Utainuka. I say you rise up. Utainuka. The Lord will wipe away your tears. Bwana atayafuta machozi yako. Somebody say yes. Yes. They wondered is this her? Wakashanga je, huyu ni Naomi? Because she's coming back empty. Kwa sababu anarudi akiwa hana kitu. You may be coming back empty. Unaweza kuwa narudi ukiwa patupu. But you have Jehovah. Lakini una Yehova. You have the King of Kings. Una mfalme wa You have the Lord of Lords. Una Bwana wa mabwana. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Everything is gone. Mambo yote yameenda. Children are gone. Watoto wameenda. Husband gone. Mume ameenda. You can look friends when you when things begin to go bad. Wakati mambo yanaanza kwenda kibana marafiki watatoka money will go pesa zitatoka relatives will go watu wa jamaa watatoka and you remain alone na unabaki peke yako i want to tell you ningependa nikwambie in that moment acha wakati ule when everything is gone wakati kila kitu kimetoka there is a god in heaven kuna mungu mbinguni i say there is a god in heaven kuna mungu mbinguni can this be naomi je huyu anaweza kuwa ni naomi they wondered wakashanga bas 20 Said, Why she really? Don't and now look at now now look at Naomi look at Naomi look at Naomi Mwangalie Naomi sasa She has gotten into what they are saying Ame kubaliana na kile ambacho wanasema And she said don't call me Naomi Anasema usiniite msiniite Naomi I am no longer pleasant Mimi si bora tena wa kufurahisha I am no longer beautiful Mimi si mrembo tena What has befallen me Kile kilichonipata has never befallen anybody else Akijapata mtu mwingine Please don't call me Naomi Nafadhali msiniite Naomi Call me Mara Mniite Mara Because the Almighty has made my life bitter Kwa sababu Mwenyezi amefanya maisha yangu yawe mabaya Chungu. She's not even complaining about people. Analalami kuhusu watu. She's complaining about God. Analalama kuhusu Mungu. The things have gone through. Mambo ambayo yamepitia. The stress have gone through. Msongo wa mawazo ambayo yamepitia. The loss of my husband. Kupoteza mume wangu. The loss of my children. Kupoteza watoto wangu. It is about God. Ni kumuhusu Mungu. I want you to know. Ningependa ujue. Job lost everything. Ayuba alipoteza kila kitu. He lost children. Alipoteza wana wake. He lost wealth. Alipoteza mali yake. He lost health. Alipoteza afya. He never lost God. Hakupoteza Mungu. You can lose children. Unaweza poteza wana ndio. You can lose wealth. Unaweza poteza mali. You can lose health. Unaweza poteza afya. Never lose God. Usipoteze Mungu. May God ever be present in your life. Bwana awe katika maisha yako. May you hold on God. Ushike Mungu. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Hold on God. Ukwamilie kwa Mungu. Hold on God. Ukamshikilie Mungu. God has made my life bitter. Bwana ameyafanya maisha yangu yawe machungu. And today I pray. Na leo hii naomba Whatever pain you are going through. Uchungu wote ambao unapitia. Whatever discouragement you are going through. Kuvunjika moyo ambako unapitia. May the Lord turn your bitter waters into sweet. Bwana abadilishe maji yako machungu yawe matamu. May the Lord raise you one more time. Bwana akunyanyue juu mara tena. May the favor of God come over your life. Seva ya Mungu iwe juu ya maisha yako tena. And I declare under the anointing. Natangaza juu ya upako. You will not die. Hautakufa. I said you will not die. Hautakufa. The Lord is changing your story. Bwana anabadilisha The Lord is changing your story. Bwana anabadilisha hadithi yako. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Don't call me Naomi. Usiniite Naomi. Call me Mara. Niite Mara. For I am bitter. Kwa sababu nina machungu. Because of the things I've gone through. Kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo nimepitia. In the next verse the scripture says. Sasa unaofuata Biblia inasema. She she is confessing. Anakiri. I went away full. Akasema nilienda kama nimejaa. But the Lord has brought me back empty. Lakini Bwana amenileta bila chochote. I went with my children. Nilienda na wanangu. I went with my husband. Nilienda na mume wangu. I went okay. Nilienda sawa. But I am coming back. Lakini narudi. I am empty. 
Sina chochote. Why call me Naomi? Bona muniite bora. The Lord has afflicted me. Bwana amenitia mateso. The Almighty has brought misfortune upon me. Bwana ameleta maovu juu yangu. Friends, marafiki, you can go to the lowest of the lowest. Unaweza palipo chini kabisa. People can even trample on you. Watu wanaweza kukanyagia juu. They can call you names. Wanaweza kuita majina. They can laugh at you. Wanaweza kuchekelea. But I want you to know. Lakini ningependa ujue. Jehovah is not yet through with Wama you. Jehovah hajamaliza na wewe. They meant for evil. Kile walichokusudia kwa ubaya. The Lord will turn it for good. Bwana atabadilisha kwa wema. The grave they dug that you will be buried. Kaburi walilochimba uzikwe pale. They will be buried. Watazikwa wao. She will be praising the Lord. Wewe utamsifu Bwana. Somebody say yes. Yes. You will not die in bitterness. Hautakufa katika machungu. You will not die in pain. Hautakufa katika machungu. You will not die in poverty. Hautakufa kwa umaskini. The hand of the Lord is over your life. Bwana wa Bwana uko juu ya maisha yako. And I declare you are highly favored. Tangaza umebarikiwa wewe. I say I am highly favored. I am highly favored. Take us the next verse please. So Naomi returned from Moab. Naomi akatoka Moab. Accompanied by Ruth the Akiw- Moabite. Akiwa pamoja na Ruth Moab. Her daughter in law. Binti wake mkwe. Arriving in Bethlehem as the barley harvest was beginning. Akafika Bethlehem wakati kuvuna mawele kulikuwa kunaanza. Remember she left Bethlehem. Uh, alitoka Bethlehem kumbuka. And because there was drought. Kulikuwa na njaa pale. And she left. Akatoka. 100 miles. Akaenda maili 100. And she went to Moab. Akaenda Moab. Stayed there. Akakaa Moab. Trouble found her. Shida kampata. And she heard. Na kasikia. There was food in Mo- in Bethlehem. Kulikuwa na chakula Bethlehem. And so she returned. Akaruti. I declare. Natangaza. Your time of returning back is now. Wakati wako wa kurejea ni sasa. Return return return. Re- reje- Some of you have walked away from the Lord. Na baadhi yenu mmetoka kwa Mungu. The Lord is calling you to come back. Bwana anawaiteni murudi. She return. Akarudi. Back to Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Amen. Amina. And she's returning with who? Na narudi na nani? With only Ruth. Na narudi na Ruth. And she has said don't call me Naomi anymore. Akasema msiniite Naomi tena. I am bitter. Mimi nina machungu. The things have gone through. Mambo ambayo nimepitia. It is so hard. Ni mambo magumu. Chapter number 2 now. Mlango wa pili sasa. Chapter number 2. Mlango wa pili. Verse number 1. Um mstari wa kwanza. Now Naomi had a relative. Naomi sasa alikuwa na mtu wa familia on her husband's side upande wa mume wake a man of standing mtu ambaye alikuwa na sawa from the clan of elmelech anayetoka katika ukoo wa elmelech whose name was boaz ambaye alikuwa anaitwa boaz naomi naomi she returned back to bethlehem anarudi kule bethlehem she is only with 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 a daughter in law ako tuna binti wake mkwe by the name ruth ambaye anaitwa ruth so when she comes back wakati anarudi it is time for the harvest of barley ni wakati wa kuvuna mawele and so she is there kwa hivyo yuko pale she doesn't know what to do hajui afanye nini but you know what lakini unajua nini the lord had prepared a relative bwana alikuwa amemwandaa mtu wa familia from her husband's side kwa upande wa mume wake I came to tell you here Nilikuja kukuambia never neglect your relatives Usiwapuzilie mbali watu wa familia Hold close your relatives Muwashike kwa ukaribu They may not have something. Wenda wasiwe na chochote. They may not be educated. Wenda wasiwe na elimu. They may not dress like you. Wenda wasivae unavyovaa. They are your relatives. Lakini ni watu wa uko wenu. Some of you when your relatives put you on WhatsApp. Baadhi yenu mnapoweka kwenye mitandao ya WhatsApp. Even before you know what they are raising money for. Kabla ujue wanaweka pesa pamoja ya nini. You already left. Ushatoka. Your people is shindwe katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Take care of your relatives. Muwatunze watu wa family. Love them. Wapende. Pray for them. Waombe. Visit them. Watembele. And nobody saying amina. Amen. When everybody goes away, wakati kila mtu anatoweka, your relatives will never leave you. Watu wa familia hawatakuacha. Some of you are not even present to your family. Baadhi yenu hata hamko hapa kwa sababu ya familia zao. Too busy for your wife. Umeshughulika kabisa kwa mke. Too busy for your children. Umeshughulika kwa watoto wenu. Kikiumana. Hapo ndio unaishiaga. Hakuna amen. Rigiji 
akienda senate hakuna mtu ye na mtoto wake mbona mzemi amen wale wa jamaa wanasema mambo hapo zi kilipo umana sana kimeumana kila mtu amepiga aende wale wa jamaa walikuwa wamesimama pale hausi wamesimama pale hausi wanamchunga kwa kitanda walianza kufanya hivi tu hivi tu hivi tu hivi yani wanaishia but let me tell you niwambie even when that is happening your family will be together with you familia yako itakuwa pamoja na nao they will change your diapers watabadilisha mavazi yako even when you are smelling hata kama unanuka they will be there for you they will not hear the smell watakuwa hapa watasikia harufu take care of your relatives watunze watu wa familia ah take care of your relatives watunze watu wa familia Naomi is coming back. Naomi anarejea. But there is a relative. Lakini kuna mtu wa familia. By the name Boaz. Ambaye anaitwa Boaz. May God give you a kinsman redeemer Boaz. Bwana akupe mkombozi Boaz. Somebody say I need my Boaz. I need my Boaz. Come on say it loud I need my Boaz. Next verse the scripture say. Look at the next verse. Verse number 2. Mstari unaofuata. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi. Ruth Moabu akaambia Naomi You know we have come here. Unajua tumekuja hapa. We must eat. Lazima tule. We must live. Lazima tuishi. So please allow me ma'am. Tafadhali mama niruhusu. Let me go and glean. Wacha niende nitafute tafute. So that we can have something to eat. Ili kwamba nipate chakula. Look at verse number 2. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, "Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftovers." Ruth Moabite akambia Naomi, "Niruhusu niende kwenye kwenye mashamba nikaweze kuchukua vilivyoachwa behind anyone in whose eyes i find favor nyuma ya kila yoyote katika machoni pake nitapata kipale let me go and pick wacha niende nika all i need is favor kila ambacho nahitaji tu ni kipale my friends I, i came to declare to you nilikuja kuambieni things can be bad mambo yanaweza kuwa ni mabaya you may have nothing to eat unaweza kuwa huna chakula you may have nothing to dress unaweza kuwa huna chakuva maybe in a foreign land unaweza kuwa kwa nchi keni all you need is favor unahitaji tu favor ya mungu may the lord release favor kwa na aachilie favor those who are contending with you will not contend with you wale wanaopigana nao watapigana nawe tena those who are wishing your downfall they will not see your downfall wanaotaka mwanguko wako wataona kuanguka kwa I release favor. Naachilia kipali. Ruth says, "All I need is favor." Ruth akasema anachohitaji ni favor. And I pray. Naomba. May the favor of God be over your life. Favor ya Mungu iwe juu ya maisha yako. Oh, Jehovah release favor. Amen. May you receive favor. Okay, ni favor. Receive favor. Okay, ni. Somebody say I receive. I receive. All I need is favor. Nachohitaji ni favor. I am going to glean. Naenda kutafuta. And all I need. Kile ambacho nahitaji is favor. Ni favor. And Naomi said to her. Naomi akamwambia, "Go ahead my daughter." Nenda binti wangu. I declare to you Pepha South B. Nawaambieni wana Pepha South B. Don't just stay there. Usikae tu pale. Don't do nothing. Usifa usikose kufanya chochote. Go for it in Jesus name. Iende katika jina la Yesu. Try something. Jaribu kitu. Try something. Jaribu kitu. Don't just stay there. Usikae tu pale. Too much of Afro cinema. A whole man with a stomach mm-hmm. watching a cinema during the day shindwa kabisa mm-hmm. try something jaribu kitu bwana mnaangalia namna hiyo jamii hani you are just sitting there afro cinema continue shortly no make hapo unaangalia afro cinema continue shindwa kabisa tafuta maji panguza watu viato rangi Sotano nunua rangi na brush kuja nikupatie uanze kitu kesho Fungua kaos wacha kungangana na jina tafuta jina nikupatie sasa hii anguka nayo kaos hiyo unaonaanza kuosha magari Hauhitaji hauhitaji Pythagoras theory you we don't need that Ule unahitaji ni maji na sabuni Sema amina Sema Amina. Si time ndio itakulisha sio Qtex. Ah ah. Ni chakula naita jiandika hapa unaoshanga gari. Somebody shout amen. Amen. 
Ruth is saying all I need is favor. Ruth anasema ninahitaji ni kibanda. I declare over your life today. Natangaza juu ya maisha yenu leo. Whatever your hand finds to do. Ila ambacho mikononi itapata kufanya. The favor of God be over your life. Na licha Bwana kiwe juu ya maisha yenu. The Lord touch you with favor. Bwana waguzeni na kibali. Sema amina. Amen. May you rise from nothing to something. Utoke pale kutokuwa na chochote uwe na kitu. Somebody say amen. Amen. May I find favor. Look at the next verse verse 3. So the scripture say so she went out the mother said go and now she went out and entered a field and began to glean behind harvesters as it turned out she was working in a field belonging to boaz i declare today may favor direct you to the right place i declare today may favor connect you with the right people i declare today may you never go wrong in jesus name Na, naomi she is at home naomi yuko nyumbani ruth she has gone cleaning ruth ameenda kutafuta and what happens nini inafanyika she finds herself anajipata in the field of boaz katika shamba la boaz may god bring you to the right position bwana kuleta katika nafasi to the right place at the right time say yes yes look at the next verse the scriptures say just then boaz arrived just then halafu Ruth is busy Ruth anashugulika picking the leftovers anachukua vilivyoachwa She is working as hard anafanya kazi kwa bidii The harvesters are in front wanaovuna wako mbele yake and they are harvesting na wanavuna There are many of them wao ni wengi But then Boaz comes Boaz anakuja Boaz has never met Ruth Boaz hajai kutana na Ruth Boaz has never seen Ruth Boaz hajai muona Ruth Boaz does not know Ruth Boaz hamjui Ruth And he comes to watch his land kutazama kazi inavyoendelea. The scripture say. Andiko yanasema. Boaz arrived from Bethlehem. Boaz akafika kutoka Bethlehem. And greeted the harvesters. Akawasalimia wanaofanya kazi. The Lord be with you. Bwana na awe nanyi. The Lord bless you. Bwana awabariki. They answered. Wakamjibu. Look at verse number 5. Sari wa 5. Boaz asked the overseer. Boaz akauliza msimamizi. Who does this young woman belong to? Je, huyu binti mchanga ni wa nani? out of the many harvesters kwa wale wengi waliokuwa pale Boaz does not see anybody Boaz haoni wale wengine he only sees Ruth Boaz anamlenga Ruth i declare under the anointing tangaza juu ya upako may the lord locate you bwana akutambue ulipo may the lord identify you bwana ajihusishe may you be isolated bwana kutende out of the many people kutokana na wengi may your name pop out jina lako litokee in jesus name katika jina la yesu who is this je huyu ni nani i declare today natangaza leo because of your commitment kwa sababu ya kujitolea because of your consistency Because of your persistence may you be identified may you be located may your name pop out who is this who is this who is this hallelujah amen who is this young woman who you been to mchanga ni nani manze boss ajifungi ameona kitu ameona kamanzi na ajifungi Sema amen Mbona usemi amina Let me go to the next one verse 6 Sasa wasita The overseer replied she is a Moabite Ile msimamizi akasema huyu ni mume wapo Who came back from Moab with Naomi Ambaye alitoka Moabu akiwa na Naomi Verse 7 look at this Sasa wasamba Look at the testimony Ona ushuhuda She said please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the harvesters Ruth akasema ali alisema kwamba niruhusuni nitafute nyuma ya wale wanaovuna She came into the field and remained here from morning till now Alikuja hapa kwenye shamba na mebaki mpaka sasa Except for a short rest in in the shelter japo tu kwa muda mchache anapumzika may somebody give a testimony over your commitment mtu atoe ushuhuda juu ya kujitolea kwako don't talk about yourself usijizungumzi let somebody else talk about you mtu mwingine aseme kwa kuhusu some of you are so lazy baadhi yenu ni wazembe you go to work late nenda kazini umechelewa you leave early 
unatoka mapema even the things that belong to your boss you steal hata vitu vya boss wako unaipa even some of the things you steal hata baadhi ya vitu unavyoipa sukari kalamu shindwa kabisa unafungwa bure tu kwa sababu ya ati aliba nini sukari kazi unapoteza mbona mnisikizi jameni hello let somebody give a testimony over you mtu atoe ushuhuda kukuhusu look at the next verse sasa tunaofuata boss said to ruth my daughter my daughter boss akamwambia ruth binti wangu listen to me nisikize don't glean in another field usiende kutafuta kwenye shamba lingine don't go Shigine. away from here na usitoke hapa stay here with the women who work for me ka hapa na wanawake wanaonifanyia kazi i declare natangaza may the lord lift you from bottom to top bwana akutoe kule chini akulete juu from nothing to something kutoka kuchokuwa na kitu from a nobody to a somebody kutoka kwa usijulikana ujulikana from today Don't clean in another person's land. Usiende kwenye shamba la mwingine. Stay here. Ka hapa. May the Lord wipe away your tears. Bwana yafute machozi yako. May the Lord visit you. Bwana kutembelee. Verse 9. Verse 9. Watch the field where men are harvesting. Tazama shamba ambapo wanaume wanavuna. Lord decides to lift you. Hadi Bwana anaamua kukuinua. Nobody can bring you down. Hakuna mtu anayekuleta chini. They can go to witches. Kwa wachawi. They can sleep on grave. They can walk naked. Uchi. You are protected by the Lord. Na Mungu. You will thrive, you will succeed. Utaendelea utafaulu. Hiyo mapepo itawarudia. Mm. Bona usemi amina. Amen. Verse 10 then I, I give you a few things like before I close. Verse wa kumi. Can we read verse, lift your hands like that? Let's read verse 10 together now. Remember in verse 4 he said if i find favor. But now in verse 10. Lift your hands let's read together. At this, At this she bowed down, down with her face, face to the ground. She asked him, why have i found such favor in your eyes that you notice me a foreigner? Aijawaingia So much na mara nyingine at this she bowed down with her face to the ground she asked why have found ah why mbona have i found such a favor nimepata kibali cha aina hii father i release favor in the in your people today baba naachia kibali katika maisha ya watu wako i release favor naachia kibali i didn't know you will favor me this way i didn't know you will favor me this way may god give you favor bwana nakupe kibali what is favor kibali ni nini a few things number one. mambo machache favor kibali is being selected for something good among many qualified counterparts kuweza kuchaguliwa kwa kitu kizuri miongoni mwa wengi ambao wameshahitimu being selected for something good among many qualified counterparts kuweza kuchaguliwa kwa kitu kizuri miongoni mwa wengi ambao washahitimu they qualify yes wao wanahitimu ndio but you are you are selected lakini wewe unachaguliwa i declare today ninatangaza leo may you be selected in jesus name kuweza kuchaguliwa katika jina la yesu number 2 favor ya pili kibali is being chosen for the position naturally you do not qualify kuweza kuchukuliwa kwa nafasi ambayo Uh, kikawaida huwezi hitimu you are chosen for a position natural you don't have the papers hauna makaratasi you don't have the connection hauna miunganisho but favor lakini kibali out of nowhere kutokana you are lifted unainuliwa tu i declare today natangaza leo may you be lifted uinuliwa tu just like ruth was lifted kama jinsi ruth aliinuliwa the lord is lifting you today bwana anakuinua leo i say i receive i receive number three favor Yatatu kibali is when you seek the face of God in prayer. Wakati unatafuta uso wa Bwana katika maombi. And all your request is granted. Na mambo unayoambia Bwana yafanya anafanya. My brother pray. Ndugu yangu omba. My sister pray. Dada yangu omba. God doesn't have a dustbin of prayer. Bwana hana pahali pa kurusha maombi. There is a day all your tears will be wiped away. Siku machozi yako yote yatafutwa. The favor of God will come over your life. Bwana kitakuja juu ya maisha yako. God qualify 
Christ the disqualified. May you be qualified in Jesus name. Number one, amen. Amen. Number one, being selected for something good among many qualified counterparts. Number two, being chosen for a position naturally you do not qualify. Number three, when you seek the face of God in prayer. Number four, favor is when help is made available at a time and from a place you least expected. Ruth never expected that help from Boaz. But even though she never expected, favor came. I am praying favor will come. May favor come over your life. May favor come over your business. May favor come over your family. May the Lord begin to do things you never expected will ever happen in your life in Jesus name. Come on say amina. Amina. Amen. Number 1. When uh, you are selected for something good among many counterparts. Number two, when you are being chosen for a position, naturally you do not qualify. Number three, when you seek the face of God in prayer. Number four, when help is made available at a time and a place you least expected. Number five, favor. When you are called by God, to the great work and you think you are not able God calls you and you look at your resources you look at your education you look at where you have come from and you feel I am not qualified the hand of God will be over your life and the Lord will use you to do that which you feel you are not qualified and lastly favor is when you take little efforts that lead to great achievement. I declare today those who have overtaken you may you overtake them. Whatever took others 10 years to do May it take you less than a year to do. May the Lord wipe away your tears. May the Lord protect you. I declare today. Sickness is not your portion. Pain is not your portion. Failure is not your portion. Discouragement is not your portion. May you use little effort. May the favor of God be over your life. Lift your hand and declare, I am favored. I am favored. The last scripture. Let us read together Psalms 5 verse number 12. I want you to read that as you lift your hand. Psalms 5 verse number 12. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. And I want you to declare this one even louder. Because I believe favor, favor, favor. Can we read it together? One, three, let's go. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I declare. Number one, you are blessed. Number two. You are surrounded with favor. You are surrounded with favor. The Lord appeared to Mary in a village called Nazareth. She was a nobody. She had nothing. The throne to be married to a carpenter. To do a local wedding. Kufanya ndoa. Local wedding. Ya kijijini. With nobody. Bila mtu. But the favor of God. Lakini kipali cha mungu. Oh Mary. Eh hey, Maria. You are highly favored. Umepata kipali. I declare today. 
May the favor of God come over your life. May the favor of God come over your life. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a big hand. Ruth. Ruth received the favor. And today, the Lord is giving you the favor. We want to pray with you right now. You're saying, Pastor, I need the favor of God. I need favor in my life. I need favor, favor, favor. I have gone through it all. Just like Naomi and Ruth. But today, I connect myself with the word of God. I need the favor of God. I want you to come in front right now. Just stand up and come. You're saying, I need prayer. And pulpit ministers, please join with me very quickly. I'm going to pray with you right now. In Jesus' name. Very quickly, please. Let the angels sing. Oh. Come on. You are lifted up. Holding forever. And the angels cry. Oh, 
to pray and as the pulpit ministers are standing here, we want to give, pay our tithes. Wakati tunendelea na maombi na tukiwe na wabuti maombi banda bako tukipenda kulipa saka. I would want to call upon all the tithers to come. Ningependa kwa omba nyote, mina wotoa zaka mje. Maybe you've given through the week. Labda umetoa karika juma. Or you have your tithe right away. Ama unazaka sasa hivi. We give it through our pay bill number that appears on the screen. Tunatoa kutumia pay bill ambayo iko kwenye screen. And those of you who would want to give the envelopes will be given out. Na wale ambao mngependa kutoa bahasha mtapewa. And you can come on the altar. Na unaweza kuja kwenye madhaba. And the pulpit ministers will lay hands and declare blessing over your life. Alafu utaweza kutangaziwa baraka na wahudumu. Amen. 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 Oh, 
Thank you. 